Since the dawn of human civilization, people wanted to live longer and healthier lives. But only during the 20th century, life expectancies in major developed countries doubled and continue to increase. Exponential advances in science and technology transformed every aspect of our daily life. And now, we are at a point of human evolution when our understanding of human biology can help us intelligently develop personalized therapeutic interventions, discover new drugs, or reposition the old ones to treat or even cure complex diseases, slow down, or even reverse aging. At the forefront of this revolution is in Silico Medicine, a big data analytics company built on years of clinical and laboratory research experience in cancer and age-related diseases. Our mission is to extend healthy longevity by discovering and repurposing drugs that are reasonably safe to use. But from its inception, Insilico Medicine decided to build a solid, sustainable business model by developing research and development platforms that help large pharmaceuticals improve their R&D pipelines, develop companion diagnostics, and improve clinical trials enrollment practices. We want to minimize animal testing and human clinical trials and run whole body personalized simulations in a high performance computer system. In Silico Medicine is collecting actionable omics, information, gene expression, metabolomic, proteomic, and other data coming from specific tissues from the brain, eyes, thyroid, heart, lung, kidney, liver, intestine, reproductive organ, skin, and all other organs from patients of different ages. Young, middle age, old, and very old patients are up for comparison. To do that, we produce our own data and then use it as a substrate to collect, standardize, and normalize data from many public and private sources. We are also collecting information from healthy tissues and those afflicted by age-related diseases such as cancer, cardiovascular, metabolic, CNS pathologies, and many other diseases. We then compare these diseases to each other and look for pathologically activated pathways and changes specifically attributed to aging to find actionable targets and develop working interventions. We are structuring the data into what we call the data pyramid and NVIDIA GPU can be used to process data at several levels of this pyramid. We use high-performance computing to normalize data on the gene level. We also use it to normalize on the pathway level. And most importantly, we use it to calculate the signalome changes, identify patterns, similarities, and for drug scoring to evaluate the efficacy of many drugs. We are mapping all signalome profiles in our multi-dimensional vector space and comparing their similarity, distance, classifying them and clustering them into constellations. Imagine that you have a universe with lots of galaxies, stars and constellations. Each star is a signalome profile and we are going to compute the distances and angles, etc. Group them in constellations. These galaxies are human bodies. We test different drugs in silico in order to see how they can change the difference between young and old, healthy and afflicted tissues. And now we want to add time into the universe and start moving it. In silico medicine is using highly parallel high performance computing solutions to compare aging in different tissues, compare aging and disease in different tissues, compare aging and disease in different tissues in individual patients create a test bed for therapeutic interventions, create virtual clinical trials and virtual bodies in highly multidimensional space and run time series simulations. We use NVIDIA GPU to calculate these constellations and mapping new stars into universe. Can NVIDIA help solve aging? 